Hello. Hello. Okay. Um, what we have in this problem is we have a center at negative 6, 5. And we know that the circle is going to be tangent to the x-axis. All right? So first of all, ladies and gentlemen, when creating a circle, we need to make sure we go back to at least write in our standard form, right? So we know that a circle can be written in standard form of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared, right? Where the center is h comma k and the radius is equal to r, right? OK. So all they're asking us to do is to, um, so to write the equation of the circle. Well, we know what the center is, right? And remember, it's x opposite of h and y opposite of k. So our equation here is going to be x opposite of negative 6. So it's going to be x plus 6 squared plus y opposite of 5, which is going to be y minus 5 squared equals, now we've got to determine what r squared is. So to do that, I need to first understand what tangent of x to the x-axis is and what our graph's going to look like. So let me just plot this out real quick. So it's negative 6 up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 up 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. OK, so roughly my center is right there. OK, now what they mean by tangent to the x-axis all right, is means that it's going to touch at exactly one point at the x-axis. So if I was going to graph a circle, I know that it's going to tangent to the x-axis, means that it touches at that one point. All right. So if you look at like a circle, so if I was going to draw a circle here, um, that'd be negative 6. That's up 5, negative 6. Yeah, something go like that. So it looks something like that. All right. So what tangent to the x-axis means that it just touches exactly at one point. So the circle touches at one point at the x-axis. So therefore, if we know that the center and we know that there's another point that's at the x-axis, we need to determine this distance, which we know that since it is negative 6 over, we know that this distance is going to be 6. Right? Let me give you guys an example. If I say draw a line that's tangent to the circle, this is a line tangent to the circle. It touches at exactly one point, right? This would be a line that crosses the circle. It touches at two points. So if a line is tangent to something, it's going to touch at exactly one point. Make sense? So since this is tangent at the x-axis, it touches at the one point. That means that distance is 6. Therefore, 6 squared equals 36. And that's your equation of your circle. OK? All right. Oh,